This is Alin from Javelin and today I will uh, demonstrate how easy it is to fill a cavity inside an existing assembly with a solid body using SolidWorks. Um, the model was uh, posted on SolidWorks forum by Amir and actually just to make things more challenging I'm going to open uh, the assembly from a step file. So let's say I'm going to use Imperial for both the parts and uh, the assembly. Takes a bit of time to to open the assembly and uh, it has been opened. Allow me just to hide the origins. One thing I noticed there is a little blue line uh, on this edge so I'm gonna say that it might be a good idea to investigate the uh, import body. I see here a few surface bodies and only one solid body so why don't I take a look on the import diagnostics to see if there is anything fishy there. And I see here a face that's uh, begging for uh, healing. So I'm just going to ask SolidWorks to repair it. Everything is fine. I'm going to click OK. So it looks like those surface features, the generating surface bodies, are just duplicates of existing faces from uh, the actual solid. So I'm just going to delete them. Everything is fine. Let's save this file and return to the assembly. If we explore this assembly, let's say starting from this phase doing maybe some section views, we're going to find out that there is a cavity actually in there. And as we go deeper, it actually branches into, it has some internal walls in the middle. So it's, there are actually two little cavities that communicate to one of the holes. So this is what we need to create, a solid body that's going to give us the volume of the fluid inside. Let's start by creating a virtual part of the assembly that's going to represent the fluid. I'm just going to hit escape instead of selecting an existing face. This way the origin of the assembly and the planes of the assembly are going to become the origin of the new part and the planes of the new part. And let's call this uh, part fluid. Edit it in uh, the context of the assembly and we'll use now a boolean operation to get the solid bodies from all these parts inside uh, the part that I, it's being edited. So features, join. And I'm going to select all the existing parts. And also I'm going to ask SolidWorks once the operation is finished to hide all the used parts. And as you can see, I the join command worked. And what's interested interesting, it created actually one body only. So it combined all those bodies into one. Let's open this uh, part in its own window. And uh, we know that we need pretty much the space on the inside. Amir told me that he would like to calculate the volume starting from this face and finishing to this face. So let's cap this uh, ends with planes. I'm just going to go to plane and use offset zero on one side. Repeat the process on the other side. I'm just going to press enter now to repeat the last command again, offset zero. And it's done. Now we just need to invoke the intersect command and select those two planes and the solid. So as you know, the intersect command is just looking for the uh, volumes th between the existing faces of, um, of the solid and of the plane. So just little rooms. Doesn't matter right now if I have a solid or not. Good, so it found the uh, different regions. I must, I'm going to ask SolidWorks not to merge the result. And also I'm going to ask SolidWorks to allow me to remove this body, obviously the one on the outside. And actually, let's not do that. Let's go and ask SolidWorks to remove all the bodies, but this one. So I'm going to click on this. And pretty much I'm preserving the, the body that I care about. So let's click OK. And the intersect command did its job. So what I see here, it's actually the fluid, the volume of fluid. Allow me just to hide the two planes, maybe change the color of uh, this part to something else, let's say red maybe. I'm just going to save it and go back at the assembly level. Let's switch back to the assembly. 
and as SolidWorks to un uh, unhide or show all the parts that I hidden that I hid before. So I'm going to go select hidden, right click show. And now if I'm doing my section, let's say maybe a little bit through there, you can actually see the volume of fluid inside this part. Thank you.